Wow, got a tarpon. Still on. Get out. He's swimming toward me. I don't know. Felt like he was still on. He's still on. Must be swimming right toward me. I'm getting some line back slowly. Dude, he's right next to the boat. Oh, he's like right under my boat. What happened? Not boy. <laughs> Whoa! Wow! Okay. <laughs> oh shit, boy. <laughs> I just had to talk to him a little bit. Wow, that was so beautiful. Wow, that was beautiful footage, man. I got that on camera. <laughs> wow, 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 that is just such a sight. Wow, he's just hanging out under the boat. What the hell? Is he just completely worn out or what? I mean, that's impossible for a tarpon to be worn out this quick. Uh. 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 Whoa! She's a beauty. She's a beauty. I saw that baby coming up. She is a beauty. Yes, sir, she is. Wow, mighty all the work to get to this point. You guys would not believe how much work I had to put in to get to this point. Oh my God, it was so worth it. And I almost gave up. Okay, buddy, if I can just keep making him do jumps like that, I should be able to wear him out. <laughs> oh. <sighs> I could pull really hard and then just break that line. I don't want to. <laughs> hanging out here at the boat. sir yes sir that's a nice one woke them with a pin senator using the big water ugly stick for conventional reels in 15 10 minutes and whooped them just whooped them buddy Beautiful fish, beautiful fish, people. Beautiful, 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 beautiful fish. 
Look at that beauty. Got her on the side there. Got her upside down. Let me see. Just look at that beauty right there, buddy. Oh man, I ain't got my pliers with me. Damn. Get this out, buddy. Let me get it out. All right, it's out. Uh, uh. I got you, man. I got you. I'll get you my other. I got you. Come on, man. Look at that beauty. Come on, man. Let's get you out. Let's get you going, man. Time for the camera, buddy. Yes, sir. Beautiful 50 pound tarpon. I'm gonna get you going, buddy. Yeah, you got a little kick in you. You're already getting lived up. Another little kick. I just keep licking my fingers, buddy. You're almost ready to go, huh? Yes, sir, you are. Yes, sir, you are. He's gonna be crying. <sighs> Bill, if you're watching, man, I appreciate you, brother. So, Bill does not live in the Tallahassee anymore. He's the guy that I was fishing with last year. And, dude, I got up at 4 30 a.m. this morning i was just jumping from coastline to coastline just looking for bait and nothing 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 and it was it was 9 30 and i was about to give up and i gave him a text i gave mr bill a text and i said dude I, i'm gonna just go home man i've been trying to catch bait i can't even catch bait there's no way i can tarpon fish today he texts me back says hey did you try that redneck uh boat ramp that everyone that they all use on 98 i said well i was driving on the way over there when he texted us let me just freaking look and i went there and i got these these mullets these little tiny mullets man i'm going to show you these mullets and um got a handful of them and uh that's what landed that fish all right let me show you the baits that I, i've been using let me show you the size of these these mullets that's a bigger one right there that's what i've been using people to catch these fish mm. very easy to keep alive in a bucket you don't even need a 10 gallon bucket like uh like i'm using in key west the tarpon they want big baits but here they don't want big baits they would just want to snack all day long. And that's what they do is they snack. And it's it seems so crazy that I'm using all this heavy ass tackle. In fact, this is totally overkill even for that tarpon. But I just like it because you can just whoop them so fast on this. <laughs> it's like 10 minutes and that fish was done, buddy. <laughs> and plus I get all those good aerial footage, you know because i'm dragging my i'm using my boat as drag really hey guys thanks for tuning in uh, sorry i haven't been busting out more of these tarpon videos usually i put out more tarpon videos during this time of year but uh, the last past two months i was looking around for a new job and a new place to live because unfortunately for people who work in the multifamily industry and live on site where they work they're required to move uh, after they resigned so with this company I had seven days to vacate 
after giving my my notice <laughs> so and it, it was a big vacate because it was a three bedroom part apartment with a car garage uh, moving physically moving didn't take long at all that only took um, eight hours <laughs> with one other guy um, because we're workhorses but um, it's the packing like to pack up a three bedroom apartment and garage took a long time and then of course unpacking it and setting up the new place takes a very long time and you know also just looking for jobs and other places to live you know all of this has to happen at once you know because you don't want to be uh, homeless <laughs> after you resign or living in some shithole after you resign so um, it all worked out really good though um, you know the place where I'm living now is actually off-site so if I need to leave again you know I don't have to worry about finding a place I can just go to another job and not have to worry about um, finding another place to live and I can just continue to live at the place where I'm at which by the way I really love like this is probably the best place I have ever lived um, I looked at a whole bunch of places but um, it was actually my wife who picked this place out when she walked this place with me she was just incredibly happy I was like okay well she <laughs> I'm putting her through all this fucking shit so I might as well on um, just let her choose where to live <laughs> and uh, we can't be happy I can't be happier like this is probably the best place we've ever lived um, and also the new job is a 14% increase in pay and uh, really great people where I work like the, in fact, one of the reasons why I left the other job is because it was toxic. It was a toxic, demoralizing place to work. Uh, I, I was only been there, this is actually the shortest job I've ever worked at. Because, uh, let's see, my first job, I stayed in my first job, my first company for 15 years. My second company, I stayed with them for five years. This company, I only stayed, so I, that's like half of my life right there almost. So th this this company I only stayed with for seven months. So that just goes to show, and I don't, I don't feel good about leaving. You know, I'm actually still bummed out about leaving. Even though circumstance is actually better for me, I'm bummed out about leaving because I don't want to leave. You know, where I work, you know, I want it to work where I work. So I'm still getting over that. But uh, as, as far as circumstance goes, like it, it's, it can't be better really. <laughs> like it went so well it's it's like god must be looking out for me or something <laughs> that's how well it went and i caught a tarpon and that's something i couldn't do with the other job because with the other job i had to be on call all the time and i couldn't make it to the coast and the reason why i was on call all the time is because people were needlessly getting fired and nobody wanted to work there <laughs> i was like the only person there so this is just crazy, man. <laughs> crazy. But uh, I'm out, and I am fishing for tarpon now. So uh, I got, like, probably two more months of tarpon fishing. I'll probably get a couple more trips in before the season's over. And uh, that one right there was a spectacular fish. I couldn't have asked better fish, you know, coming out of all the ordeal that I came out of. So, anyway, that's, the, that's what happened to me and the reason why I'm kind of late on these damn tarpon videos. So, um, there'll be more coming out, and um, stay tuned.